All right, then leaders, uh, we've talked about scalpbook.com as a knowledge source. And the, the main things we want to use scalpbook.com as our knowledge source is thinking about the calendar. So someone, a parent, uh, me, you, can go and look at what events are coming up. Uh, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great place to go and remember the date. Uh, we, we give paper sometimes, but that gets out of date and lost. Uh, this is something you can have uh, right at your fingertips. And so uh, we're going to talk about how to create an event. Uh, and with that, we're going to look at the, this idea of uh, RSVPing. Uh, I have asked uh, parents to go ahead and RSVP if they can. Gives you an idea of what boys are going to be there. You can take attendance. We'll look at the importance of that in a second. Uh, then also on the events, you can put auto reminders on there. So that's huge uh, to not have to remember to send out one more email. Uh, and then also, uh, you can follow up to, uh, boys that were absent, letting them, th them know uh, what requirements were worked on, which we'll talk about in the end of this video. So let's go ahead and go to Scoutbook and scoutbook.com and my dashboard. And again, uh, I usually land on this page. Uh, you don't even need to go to Pack 570. You can actually just go on your dashboard straight to events. And I'm, you can create a new event from the calendar. I'm just going to create one from Create New Event right here. And now I like to be consistent in how I name things. That's going to help out a lot, uh, especially when we're thinking about trying to keep it simple, keep it the same, so uh, people can kind of get in a the rhythm. Then we're going to go back to my event here, and I'm just going to name it here. Uh, oh, uh, you do need to select what Dan you're setting a meeting for, so I'm going to do that. And, and here's where we name it. So Wednesday, what I'm going to do is change that to it's October the 19th when we're doing that. I uh, put the location down there. Uh, I like to go to Google Maps and grab a, a link of where we're meeting. You don't have to do that. Let's select the right start date, October 19th, 6.30. Good. Ending, need to change that end time to 7.30. Set that. Uh, you can also let parents know, is this an outdoor activity? Uh, it's kind of nice to know uh, for planning. Uh, manage advancement. We're going to talk about this more in a second, uh, but this is a great place to keep a record. And then I'm going to come down here, RSVP. So I like to turn this on. So you see that uh, the boys here, when I click on RSVP, you're going to see question marks pop up. Well, when a parent comes to the event to look at it, they can click on that and say, yes, my boy will be there. And since I know my son will be there, I'm going to go ahead and check off that. And then down at the bottom uh, in the event description, uh, when they go to look at the event, this is what's going to tell them uh, what's going on. So that's a good place to do that. I'm not sure what we're doing, so I'm going to leave that blank for now. Uh, and also, now this is something I really like to make use of, the managing reminders. So typically for the den meetings, I like to send a reminder two days before. And the, you know what? I'm also going to set one seven hours before. Some people tend to uh, get busy on day of, so this would be around 11.30 around lunchtime, so it's kind of a sometimes nice to get a, another reminder. So you're going to see those are now automatically set, and they will get the title of the event, where it is, the time, and then they're also going to get this event description on there, kind of letting them know what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now, I want to come back to this idea of uh, managing requirements. Again, I'm not sure what we're doing on this one, but I do know what we did on a previous meeting. So I'm going to go back to my events. And it was on September 21st. And for this event, I'm going to click on Manage Advancement. Uh, I know that we worked on bear adventures all of the belt loops are called adventures and it was bear necessities so i'm going to click on that one i'm going to set that now we didn't do all of them and so i'm going to have to open this back up and modify it just a bit we worked on uh, number seven i believe setting up a tent so yeah i'm going to go in and uncheck the ones we did not do Set that. 
And so now I see uh, we worked on bare necessities requirement number seven at the event. Now, at this time, this does not auto-populate. That's a feature up and coming, I think. But it is a fantastic place to uh, keep record of what you did. That's going to be important uh, for uh, our records and awarding. Um, now, this is also going to be important, uh, attendance. This is another way to kind of keep track of uh, what you did. Click on attendance first. It's going to give you a little tip on, hey, I click on the people, then click save. OK, thank you very much. So, and we had actually all of our boys there. And so I'm gonna click on save now. And now I have record of who was at the meeting and what requirement we did. Now, we know at every meeting, you're not gonna have perfect attendance of all the boys there. So what we'll need to do is, this is a reason I like keeping records is it's easy to go back and remind someone of what we did. So I know that at the October 28th meeting, now I don't see my Bear Den meeting here. You will see it on the list, but when you click on the calendar, you'll see that there's multiple events on that day. So I see that two of my boys were missing. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at what requirements we did. We did bare necessities three, four, and nine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to those boys right now. I'm gonna select messages, send a message. And since I'm on the desktop version, I'm gonna expand this to make it a little bit easier for me to see. And I'm gonna to go to if you don't know who the boy's parents are, you can always click on the boy and find that out. But I know that those parents um, and these parents uh, were the ones that missed. And we, we know things come up, obviously. Um, so uh, but I'm gonna say bear den meeting from September 28th, missed requirements and say, now I made a video, so let's look at this screen real fast. So, and you guys can reference this too, and I'll provide you the link. Um, there is a scalpbook.com uh, for parents playlist, and this video right here, checking off requirements, is uh, where they can go to find out how to do that. So I'm gonna click on share, go ahead and copy this link over, and I'll say, you can find out how to do the, uh, that in the scoutbook.com Come checking off requirements um, video in this playlist. And so now they can go and watch the video, find out how to do that. You can choose to use BCC or not. Um, if you're uh, sending a lot of uh, emails, sometimes that's nicer, so I'll, I'll leave that checked. And I'm gonna send the message. And so that, that message was sent to the parents, and so the parents now know that they can go through and work through that with their boys and, uh, and get them caught up. So uh, we'll talk about how uh, that you can go in and uh, track requirements and enter requirements in the next video.